Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at um, something on QGIS. We are going to show you how you can uh, model your DEM to, yeah, how you can get a 3D model of your digital elevation models, right? Good. So for this exercise, we have um, the digital elevation model. These are actually two tiles that we are merged. Yeah, we are merged so that um, the area of um, concentration can actually fall within or something like that. And then we also have our area of concentration, which is actually um, a local government um, within the state of um, River State in Nigeria, right? Good. So the idea behind the molecule, the idea of today's video is to actually um, extract here yeah, or let's say clip out the term that covers them um, this um, local government and then have a 3d model of that particular digital elevation model right good so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning you are thanks for always them um, shaking up on us so the first thing we are going to do is to what is to clip out them um, the the term relative to our boundary right or our area of interest so for us to do that, we come to raster, then we go to what extraction, right? We are going to use um, the um, clip raster by extends to, right? So we just click on that. Good. On the window, the input layer will be the, the, the dem we want to clip from, right? That's the merge. So if you have a digital elevation model that you want to clip from, that's the what? That's the input layer. Then the extent or the clipping extent. You click on these um, three dots, then you go to select from layer, right? Good. So we are using this vector layer. So we are using this vector layer as our extent, right? Good. So it's going to clip this vector layer. It's going to clip this um, raster layer relative to the extent of what this vector layer, right? Then let's now look at where to save it. So let's save it to a file. Good. So we are working on a folder called um, 3D modeling. And let's call this. Um, Let's say this is a um, clip asaga, right? That should be an underscore. Then let's give this um, asaga, right? Good. So let's say clip underscore asaga. That's the the clip them of um, asaga. So let's just run this. Good. So the algorithm has been successfully what? executed right so we can just um, close that now we can see a uh, clip raster somewhere around there we can decide to uncheck this uh, um, full um, them and then just have a uh, uh, clip them somewhere the place it is right good so the next thing is for us to maybe make some modifications on what on the symbology right so double click on this Good, so um, under the symbology here, yeah, the band rendering, let's um, go to single band pseudo color, then um, this is linear, right? So let's just um, select an existing um, color ramp. You can decide to modify your color ramp if you want to. Let's make it um, equal in tab, right? Good. You can decide to modify your color ramp, maybe changing the colors or maybe getting a custom, yeah, getting a custom um, color ramp or creating your own color ramp right good but for the purpose of this video let's go with them an already existing one then let's um, have it to something like this let's make this zero so since there are no decimals right good so let's make that zero and then we apply and say okay all right all right good so um you can actually see that um, these lines these lines are actually what the lines that are showing them um, where some water bodies are right good where some water bodies are so now the next thing is for us to now get the plugin we are using so the plugin you go to plugins and then you click on what to manage and install plugins right good so under the plugins window we are now going to search for the plugin we need that's actually um qjs 23 js right good that's the plugin we are going to use it's actually a 3D visualization powered by WebGL technology, right? Good. Now, the plugin visualizes them and vector data in 3D on web browsers. Now, the web browser is very important. 
because um, after we have um, created the 3D model, we are going to export it. And someone who doesn't run a QGIS on their system can actually assess the model and then um, work with it via their web browser, right? Good. So that's um, a very important part of the plugin because you can assess it on your what on your web browser. So when you have um, searched for it and you've seen it there, you can install it. We already have it installed. So there is no need for us to what install, right? Good. So let's just click on close. Now for you to access it, you go to web, you see it under what web, or you look at them, um, this um, icon somewhere around there, good. So that's the, what the QGIS to 3GS exporter, right? So just click on it. Good. Now we have the, the exporter window up. Now you can see basically there is nothing on the window because we don't have any layer checked, right? Good. So now the first layer we are going to check is what is merged, right? Based on the preview, you can see the model is so exaggerated that it doesn't depict the terrain. Now, the reason why it's like this is because of the CRS. Now, the CRS of the project is actually geographic, and you know, for the exaggeration or for the yeah, for the modeling, you need your you need your units to be in meters, right? Good. So now, this actually is in um, latitude and longitude, so you need it in meters, and that's not um, the the degrees is not the actual representation. Therefore, if you want to have the now, let's go to the scene settings. Good. Now let's look at the the, the Z exaggeration. Now the Z exaggeration, which is point one, I'm sorry, one point zero, seems to be the default. But because of the nature of the unit we have used, it seems as though it's not working. So now let's use um, 0.001 and let's apply that and see what it um, does to our model, right? Good. Now the exaggeration is fair enough compared to how it was, right? And then you can now see the terrain the way it is. However, for you to be able to beat this and have your 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 Z exaggeration in a factor or yeah, in a factor because it serves as a factor that is um, normal, you need to change your project CRS. So you click on this EPSG four three two six. Then it takes you to the project um, the project settings. Good, that's project properties. Now under the project properties, you now select you search for the projected coordinate reference system of your area of interest or of your area of choice. So the place we are working the projected CRS is actually um, WJ64 slash um, UTM32. So we just um, apply that to the project and we click on what OK, right? Good. Now upon doing that, you will see that. Um, the model that was created earlier is no longer visible because of the Z exaggeration we use. So now let's just change that to something like 50. Then let's um, apply that again to see how the model is being built. Now you see the model is back and the exaggeration is okay. Now you can use these different directions to move what to move your models, right? Good. So that's why that's um, okay. That's um, X rather. This is Z, right? Good. Then let's see what Y gives us, and this is Y, right? So you can move it within this direction. So the 50, okay, let's just change it to 70 before we close this window. Let's change it to 70, and then let's what apply, right? Good. So we can decide to close this window, and then let's play around with our model. Good. Um, with this 3D model, you can see what the, the depiction of the terrain, right? Good. You can see the depiction of the terrain and how smooth or how rugged it is actually a rugged terrain because you can see the different sharp undulations on the model, right? Good. You can see the different sharp and um, undulations on the model, and basically you can see that there is a water body or there are water bodies as you can see that flows through the area. These actually represent what water bodies, and then this can be some built-up areas with them. Um, some swamps or maybe some other vegetation, right? But basically, this lower part, this lower part indicates what some water bodies that are running through it, right? Good. So this is how you play around with what the the um, QGIS to 3GS exporter using your digital elevation model to what to generate what a model, right? You can just click on it, you know, turn it around, you know. Just if you don't want to do that, you can use these different directional buttons. This for the X. And then you can use this for the Z, which actually gives you like um, a plan view, right? Good, and you can still rotate to see 
the different undulations. This terrain is not really, really smooth or flat. You can see that by our modeling, right? Good. So let's look at how to export it. We told you that um, the plugin can be hosted on, let's say, yeah, can be hosted on your web browser, right? Good. So we go to files and then we go to what exports to web, right? All right. Now under the export to web window where you indicate where you want to what, export your your model to right good so just click on browse to select the folder good so we have a subfolder under our 3d model and we call that a model right good so let's just um, select that folder which means the output will be on that folder then the html file let's just modify let's let's update it to the um, preferred um, name we want that's a massage, right? Good. That's a massage. Then let's give it also the title of the page, which when it loads, it will display. Let's also give that um, that should be um, a site or local government area. Good. So that's a saga. Then we should enable the viewer to run locally so that um, it can be hosted on their browser without um, much issues, right? Good. So it's actually the 3D viewer, and then we have what all of those there. Now let's click on export. Good, it has been exported right now. This is the output directory, and then this is the data directory, then the same file. Good, now let's um, look at the web page file, right? That's the HTML file because it's actually very, very important. So let's just um, click on that. Good, so you can see what you can see the the model has been displayed you can see the different properties of the model that was what that was exported right good so you can now see that it's been hosted on a chrome browser you can still um, play around with it here you know you can see the different um, the different undulations on the terrain right now there is something you can see also that um, there is an external part of the model which does not cover our project area, right? That means we need to clip these other parts that was exported off possibly. We are going to see how we can do that on future as when we leave this browser. But for now, let's look at the beauty of the terrain, how undulating it is, and at least how the water bodies, or let's say the region of the water bodies, we are, what we are marked out, right? Good. This is how you create your 3D models. and using your digital elevation model and this is how you export it towards to your web browser right good okay so let's um, close this then let's come to let's come to merge and then let's um, right click and go to properties good so we have what the clip them with the um, polygon layer what this does is that it's going to clip the, the them with respect to what our um, area of interest and that will now be the model that will be what the 3d model that will now be what we displayed right good so we are clipping it with respect to this polygon layer let's now apply that we are now going to see our model clipped with reference to that right good so we can decide to okay this the 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 model is being built Good. This is the model that shows the area of um, interest alone, right? Not with any other surrounding areas, right? Good. You can see the water body running down and some other features. So what you're now going to do is to what is to go back to file. Um, let's say go to exports to web, right? We are still using that. Um, we are still using that um, uh, folder. So let's call this um, a saga two. Let's call this a saga 2 and let's also call this um, a saga 2 just for us to have um, a clear distinction. Then we also enable the viewer to run locally. So we export that, right? Good. It has been exported completely or successfully. We click on that. All right. So you can now see what the, the model, yeah, the 3D model, compared to this which has um, the surrounding yeah, the surrounding environment oh yeah however this just as for our area of interest which is actually very beautiful to be old right good so this is how you use your digital elevation model to create 3d models of what of your area of interest and you can have the 
vertical exaggeration to show relatively how the different um, terrains or the undulations of the different terrains what yeah good so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided a um, solution to this particular surveying gis remote sensing and related problem and um, if you have any issue you can if you have any tax like this and you want us to come in you can contact us and if you have any question you can leave it on the comment section comments and then we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so thanks for coming to class we are going to see you on our next video